All right, um, quick t- uh, couple of disclaimers here. First off, I do not encourage or condone any of this stuff, obviously. Just had to get that out there because YouTube. Uh, second off, I am inevitably going to laugh at some point of this video. And if that does happen, take into account disclaimer one. I, I do not condone any of this even if I laugh, okay? Just wanted to get that out there. Uh, anyway, I already see the first post, so I hope y'all are ready for this absolute headassery. So as you can tell, we have a very classy photo of some absolute thought being like, 20 likes and I'll keep the baby. No, uh, this is why I believe parenting licenses should be a thing. Also, that creaking is my absolute ass chair. And actually, fun fact, it just turned 420 here, so happy 420, everybody. Okay, next post, this is giving me a headache reading this. Teen arrested after teacher sees him having oral sex with the- What the fuck? Oh, Jesus. An 18-year-old is jailed without bail after his sexual assault of a 7-year-old girl was witnessed by a first-grade teacher during an online class. Oh, no. Oh, God. The man was blank molesting the girl on Thursday afternoon, police told the Chicago Tribune. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Just, no, don't do this. I know we're gonna see a bunch of map shit on this subreddit, and I'm going to probably get very pissed off. But Jesus, no, this is not okay. I'm having a lot of voice cracks. Wow. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so this one seems okay for the second, but uh, the caption says it all. I work in maintenance, and somebody moved out and left their pet turtle. Can we take a moment to appreciate this good boy here? And how terrible the person who left him behind is. It doesn't matter what type of animal it is. Like, my dad has bearded dragons. If he just decided, hey... I'm a yeet and leave this bitches behind. I'm a buy a plane ticket to where he is and bitch slap him. Cause no, animals are animals and they deserve love. All right, as y'all can probably tell, this is a very sensitive topic for obvious fucking reasons. Uh, but if you couldn't tell, we have a bunch of seemingly 17 to 20 year old uh, ass wipes and shit stains thinking it's okay to mock someone killed by br- police brutality and i love this most apparent uh snapchat caption a man tragically lost his life to police brutality and they mock him and people still don't see why change needs to happen in america uh i don't have too much to say on this because i don't look into it and i probably and if anything i try to stay away from it because it just makes me sadder than i needed to be but yeah America is kind of a shit place at times, especially since people think stuff like this is okay like months ago with the George Floyd challenge. Why can't people get a life? Why can't people find it in their fucking ape brains with in a little bit of common sense to see this ain't okay. This ain't it, chief. Jesus. Yeah, and I should probably read the caption for this one. Uh, that previous one, that is. This was the best screenshot I have. This is, not was. The situation was handled. One was expelled and the others were suspended. There was a fight in school today over it, too. I don't condone fighting. Oh, I just realized one guy has a Trump support or a Trump t-shirt. Great. There is a kid in my Spanish class who, with his camera on, thinks it's okay to show his little Trump flag. Jesus fucking Christ. Moving on. All right. Uh, (laughs) Y'all know probably well enough how I feel on this. Sisters charged for allegedly stabbing store security guard 27 times after he told them to wear a mask. And I can't say this might come out wrong, but with the look of these women, I'm not surprised. Look at them. They're absolute chromosome collectors. That The one on the right looks like she just like took a massive hit off a of bong anyway. But... <laughs> I, uh, I know some anti-maskers myself. Hell, I'm friends with a couple. And my dad is a bit of one as well. And it gives me a migraine. But no, wear a mask. Stop being an idiot. For those of you who don't know, I have two beautiful cats. One is multicolored, and the other is black. He is a beautiful boy. 
Um, so this hurts. This morning, just before 6 a.m., we had two individuals place two plastic sealed containers in front of our doors. Inside of these two bins contained 13 adolescent kittens. These bins were locked shut with no airflow or air holes for the kittens who were locked inside. Two hours later, when staff got to work, our day started by finding these, three ki- these 13 kittens, who, due to the conditions we found them in, did not survive. This is not okay. We currently have an active investigation going on in regards to this incident. If you know any information that may help us with this case, please call Saska... I'm going to try my best to pronounce this. Saskatchewan Animal Protection at 306-382-0002 or toll-free at 1-844-382-0002. Jesus, I, I have no words. I am baffled. These are kittens. These are the most adorable things on this planet. I think myself, I believe cats and dogs are gods, basically. They deserve to be treated as such. Jesus, this is terrible. I I might actually fucking cry. (laughs) Oh, this is rich. I've seen something like this a while ago. Uh, It was, I think it was on a choosing, yeah, it was on a choosing beggars video by r slash. Single gay man adopts five siblings because he didn't want them to be separated. And this bitch says, God protect the kids from him. And then, always spread love and positivity, 100 heart. Always stay strong and happy. All right, uh, no, go inject essential oils into your bloodstream and die. We don't need you. And also, uh, gauging these first three pictures here, she's a thought, a massive thought at that. So she doesn't seem to have too much a place to talk here. And thank God she only has 133 followers. And I'm hoping I'm hoping those 133 followers don't know of this. I hope they don't follow her because she agrees with her message. Jesus, this is why I hate like radical Christians because they think, oh, this person's gay. They're fucked in the head. No, that's not how it works. I called it. Here we go. I'm going to gag reading this. A former school worker who shared indecent images of children online told police he fantasized about (coughs) the abuse. (coughs) Daniel Blank, 44, who worked at Blank Academy in Blank, indulged in his pedophilic urges when he was drunk at home and searched the internet for preteen abuse. Police became suspicious after they found he had been using his computer at home to join online chat rooms and share pictures and talk. This is disgusting. I don't like kids at all, but no, this is, this is not cool. Kids, they're innocent little things. Let them live their lives. They don't need to be doing this. They shouldn't even know, I'm, I'm assuming, by if they're preteen, they probably don't even know what pornography is. And my mom is screaming for some reason. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of looking at this. I might actually go vomit. I'm not kidding. I see a lot of this stuff on Snapchat. Um, it's something... It's usually not this far. Not at all. But it's like... Repost if you would stay up with your friend all night so they don't kill themselves. I hate that. I hate it so goddamn much. Because it belittles... I hate to say it, but it belittles... Um, suicide. I, I, I think it does, at least, because they're using it as a way to get views, as a way to think that they have the attention they oh so need. If you do this, I want you to seriously step back and examine your own life choices. Just do it for a second. Here, I'll give you said second. Are you done? Maybe now you realize that you're a fucking dingus. I just read this. Oh, God. Remember that feeling you got when the second plane hit Twin Towers and you realized what was going on? You should have that same feeling now. I'm not sure what this is in regards to, seeing as it's Orange County Buzz. I'm not sure what the hell that is. But I'm guessing it's in it's in um, regards to mask policies and all that. And if, if you genuinely think this is okay, no, it's not. Masks do save lives. I saw this one thing that was on r slash I'm a piece of shit. Uh, I don't know for what reason, because I think it proved a good point. It was this, I think it's because the woman was being a bit of an asshole, but 
uh, the woman was recording a friend of hers and was trying to prove a point by telling him to put on the mask and blow out a candle. And it didn't work, like you would think. So, I think I'll do that if I ever encounter such a person, if you can even call them that. Anyway, moving on before I get too pissed off. Okay, uh, as you can see, we have a very chonky boy here, but yeah, why would- The caption is, why would you let your chihuahua get into the state? Yeah, why would you- Like, you, you appear to not let him outside or not- Probably not even fucking let him move. I mean, he looks- He looks chonky. He looks cute. But at the same time, this seems like this- That woman I saw, who is just like- Here are my two boys, kind of wholesome- Here are my two chonky boys. It's kind of wholesome how the two got chonky together. No. Oh god, it's not wholesome making your fucking pet fat, you cretin. Okay, so it looks okay, right? No. This was apparently on a tweet about a voice actor's death. How beautiful. Nothing like talking about a video game that, you know, probably most people don't give a fuck about, when someone just died. Yeah, I don't care if someone dies, apparently, because I'm that shallow of a fucking human being. Jesus Christ, you're disgusting. Alright, uh, I, I hate to laugh at this because it was sexual harassment, but it was this dude who, like, got a fanny pack and I guess cut a hole in it and slipped his schlong in. And then when a woman, who I'm assuming was, like, doing security shit, opened it up, uh, yeah, he, she saw, you know, his thing. So, that's disgusting, but at the same time, kind of hilarious. Oh, lord. Oh god, this is this is why I hate corporations. Santa Clara County Fire were using an unlimited cell data plan to fight the largest wildfire in California state history. At Verizon, spotting an opportunity choked their data speed and jacked up their prices by over 100%. Uh, give me a second here and I'll summarize this bottom text. Okay, actually, never mind. I'm gonna just read it off. Um, in the midst of our response to Mendocino... Complex fire. County Fire discovered the data connection for OES 5262 was being throttled by Verizon, and data rates had been reduced to 1 over 200, or less than the previous speeds, or 1 200th or less than the previous speeds, Bowden wrote. These reduced speeds severely interfered with the OES 5262's ability to function effectively. My information technology staff communicated and direct directly with Verizon via email and about the throttling requesting it be immediately lifted for public safety purposes. Verizon did not immediately restore full speeds to the device, however. Verizon representatives confirmed the throttling, but rather than restoring it to an essential data transfer speed, they indicated that County Fire would have to switch to a new data plan at more than twice the cost, and they would only remove the throttling after we contacted the department that handles billing and switched to the new data plan, Bowden wrote. This is deplorable. This is why I, this is why I don't trust, you know, like, those, uh... Those corporations who, like, do certain things, like the Ronald McDonald House, I don't always trust stuff like that, except, you know, Ronald McDonald House for obvious reasons, because, you know, it does good, because it's, I feel like they're just pandering to make it seem like, oh, we'll seem like good people, and maybe these people will give us their money. And this is why I, I, des I despise the modern world. Okay, this is disgusting to me, for obvious reasons. Oh, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself for reading this. Uh, I have to, like, distinguish who is who. Uh, I have something funny to tell you, but it couldn't funny. Shoot. Pfft, me and blank pranked you, lol. What? The whole cutting thing, lol. That, that, that's fucked up. That's incredibly fucked up. I know, because I am. Dude, you're fucking lying about self-harm for attention because you broke up with a dude. You're disgusting. You're belittling a serious issue of that people have just because you want to get back at your ex. You're fucking deplorable. You're useless. I have dealt- I have- I have had- I have met people who've done this stuff, and it screws over your head. I have seen a bunch of stuff. This- Oh my god. 
Okay, so I heard about this uh, because my friend had told me that, you know, Trumpy Dumpty was being pissy about the votes because, you know, at the moment he wasn't doing so well, I guess. And Alyssa Milano said, that's not how this works in a democracy. We hashtag count every vote because every vote counts. And then we have some trash here saying, wait, when did Alyssa Milano start thinking we wanted to hear her talk? Hear, H-E-A-R, not H-E-R-E. Her talk. You showed us your tits or boobs and we wanted and we watched. Jesus, I, I, I'm great at grammar. But now you're talking. <laughs> oh, God trash I, I i love people who objectify women as a, as an excuse to not listen to them i love 1850s logic okay i especially hate this because i'm reading the first sentence and this dude doesn't fucking type correctly and i hate people like that they still don't know i had co they still don't know i have covid <laughs> i couldn't even taste the food i used to pretend food is nice wh wh why did you go out you didn't know they must have seen you going in ambulance, right? Jesus Christ, use grammar. No, I, I went by car. Why, why, why did you go out you didn't know? Uh, or why did you go out you didn't know? Uh, I knew. I was bored at home. You knew? You were positive and went out. Yes, why? Oh, oh I don't know. Maybe because you're, in, you're endangering uh, innocent people. You know, it's almost like sympathy and empathy for people should be a thing. Because, you know, you don't know. You could accidentally kill someone without knowing it. Jesus Christ, I hate people like this. It's it's a pandemic. Jesus. <sighs> classy. How classy. Nothing like domestic abuse while no one cares to help. Is this what people are okay with? People just watched while this man beat his wife to death on the streets of Shoujo. No one did anything. That was the caption of this post. How disgusting. I'm... This, this is... This is horrible. What the fuck? Wives are supposed to be someone you love. That's why they're wives and not enemies. People of you, or those of you people in my circumstances can understand this because I'm in public school. And you know, apparently uh, teenage boys have no concern for other fucking people's spaces. And so someone, someone said, you know, treat public bathrooms as if they were your own. Yeah, please, please do so. Thank you. Okay, this picture has some serious context. <clears throat> Construction bringing everyone to one lane. Three car lengths back, no one was letting in an old woman with a disabled play card or placard. So I lean out my window and wave her forward so she can get in front of me. And this piece of shit in both lanes prevented her from getting in front of me. Wow, what trash. Probably fucking flies a Trump flag. Alright, here we go. Someone from my high school drove without a license and killed an innocent motorcyclist and posted this right after getting out of juvie. Straight out of jail. Th that that's not even funny. You killed someone and are smiling like it's all okay. You don't even look guilty how you live with- How do you live with yourself? You are a murderer. You belong in jail. I love you. What the fuck? You killed someone. And also, you can, you can tell their thoughts, too. That kind of explains why they have this attitude. Jesus Christ, I hate people. Like, this age. This is why I hate social media, because people think this shit seems to be okay. You know, like, especially Twitter. You know, with their whole map bullshit. You are not a map. You are a piece of shit to fit this theme. I actually heard about this. I just don't really know who Sean Connery is, but now I'm seeing his face. He looks very familiar. Sean Connery's net worth left his family in tears. Legendary actor Sean Connery died this weekend, and the news of his passing has left many wondering about the net worth he left behind. According to a showbiz cheat sheet, uh, the James Bond star boasted a net worth of $350 million at the time of his death. And this may not seem too bad, but apparently, 
This is a life insurance company advertising. How wonderful. Beautiful. Nothing like using a death to, you know, basically spread to a degree propaganda. Nice. No one's gonna use your shitty life insurance. No, I especially hate this for obvious reasons, and you'll see. Are they really laughing at him? To me, it looks like they are just passerby laughing amongst themselves, but not at his expense or anything. That's what I thought. I'm all for condemning bullies, but I need a little more before I pull out my pitchfork. Re and this guy says, read my other comment. I don't know what comment that would be. And then this dude says, yeah, if anything, this kid's being a little sensitive piece of shit. And this guy says in the in the video you can hear them say look at this kid then continue laughing and apparently what happened is uh there is, is this kid crying while being streamed and getting laughed at by adults beautiful how classy <laughs> i can't even help but laugh at this one <laughs> okay this uh this uh Caption is, two drunks in Australia vandalize innocent removalist truck with incorrectly drawn racist symbols before glassing over and glassing owner in face with bottles once confronted. Fuck Brazil and then a, a, a very poorly drawn swastika. Oh god, I could probably have drew- oh, I'm not gonna say that, that could have came out seriously wrong, but either way. Uh... You just know, don't use the swastika after, you know, World War II. That's not cool. All right, here and now, y'all are probably going to hear me get very pissy again because I read the caption of this next post, and it's, suicide is the only form of abortion he accepts. Okay, with theirs, abortion is a highly personal issue. I highly doubt that any woman takes that decision lightly. I'm perfectly all right with women taking their own life if they want to abort a child. An eye for an eye. No, 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 no. If you could see the future and see that that kid was going to become like the next Adolf Hitler, cool. Uh, I doubt that's not how it works, and I still don't encourage you to, you know, commit toaster bath for such a reason. But, no, suicide is not equivalent to, you know, abortion. No, not equivalent at all. Thank you very much. Cease and assist. And to end this here with some more classy assholes. Man, all y'all mad asses about talking about this Rona this, Rona that. Parties this, party that. Shut the fuck up. Rona is not going fucking nowhere. And we're here for a good time. Not a long time anyways. Mad because your mom's ain't let you out, boo fucking who, shut up, and apparently, this person went to a 100, pers 100 plus person Halloween party, and is now trying to justify it, alright, cool, Just, no, you're disgusting, bye, alright, I hope for some screwed up reason y'all got enjoyment out of this video, uh, I am, I am done, I have a headache, and I have homework to do, um, if, if you've considered doing anything you saw in this video, please step back and examine your life. Anyway, I have been recording for 23 minutes, so that's cool. I am done here. I have had enough of this subreddit for the time being, and I might or may not cover it again. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Wear a mask. Use hand sanitizer, and for the love of God, don't be an asshole.